Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Chris here again, and we are getting ready to give this guy away. Uh, we are just a few cigars away uh, from filling this bad boy up, and then um, uh, hopefully making somebody's Christmas a little bit more special. So, uh, so let's get on with this next cigar review that we've got here. This is a really, really, really cool one, uh, and really great AJ Fernandez uh, cigar. Uh, right out of Nicaragua, and it's celebrating a 10th anniversary of the Diesel brand. So really, really, really cool uh, cigar, and um, yeah, just a just a really great cigar here. So let's open this guy up here uh, once again with the Lynx knife from Delta Seven Gear, my good buddy Alexander Forsyth, and um, he has got a really cool Christmas special on right now. For this exact knife so check it out it's an absolutely fantastic knife just love it uh it supports a really cool guy really 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 nice guy um uh, and really good uh um comes from a really really great family um uh, and his dad and i used to fly together at a company called bearskin airlines and uh just a, his, his mom and his sister are absolutely fantastic and uh uh, and Alex went on to become a helicopter pilot, but he, um, you know, he's, he's always up to something, you know, and he's making these really cool knives. So uh, to buy something from him, this is handmade. This is not uh, something you just go to Cabela's and pick up or any like Walmart or anything. This is, comes from a handmade uh, source here. Uh, so it's got a little bit more of a story to it. It was actually, it was also used in a, in a movie. Uh, Special Forces guy used it. And, uh, and you'd be really supporting a really, a really nice, a nice person, just a really good person and a real uh, quote unquote Canadian. So um, I know a lot of my viewers are from the States, um, but uh, you know, we support uh, both, you know, our American and Canadian uh, brothers and sisters. So um, I bought so many different things from the States, including these awesome cigars, you know, it's these are, um, and uh, so, we um yeah we look after each other so uh so let's take a look at this guy here i'm gonna take one of these guys out there we are i'll put these ones here aside in the back so we can all gaze and look at the awesomeness of these beautiful cigars there we go and uh yeah, just look at that eh? look how dark and crazy that Maduro wrapper is a eh? really beautiful 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 shine to the hot one eh? just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous cigar. Really nice little foot band to it. And uh, yeah, this is the D10, um, uh, 10th anniversary of uh, the diesel brand here from AJ Fernandez. So, and anything AJ's ever touched is has always been really, really, really good. I've never had anything bad from AJ. Super nice guy, uh, super great at what he does. Just, um, yeah, this is just a really, really, really great cigar. Uh, nice torpedo um, uh, Vitola to that one. Uh, it's a six inch uh, cigar, 54 in the ring gauge. Uh, obviously a full strength cigar. Uh, and the wrapper is Maduro right out of Nicaragua. And this is his first ever 10th anniversary cigar. So just a, just a absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flavored cigar. Uh, the wrapper itself is an Ecuadorian Habano Escaro. And uh, the binder is uh, Nicaraguan, and, uh, and it's full of really great uh, Nicaraguan long fillers on that one. Um, just super flavorful, uh, super complex on that one. Uh, notes of, um, of like dark chocolate and earth and roasted coffee, and just a, like a mouth-watering, spicy, sweet finish to it, you know, like it's, it's a very complex cigar, um, like I, I kind of, um, cigars like this, I call them kind of storytelling cigars, you know, because it's, they kind of tell a story as you're kind of smoking down through it, eh? and it's just, uh, and it just keeps wrapping up with more and more complexity, and more and more flavors, and, uh, and it's just, there's always a surprise going on with the cigar, it's just, just when you think that you kind of got it figured out, it, uh, it, uh, it shows you something else. So yeah, you're gonna really, really, really enjoy this one. Um, yeah, 
just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful cigar. So let's uh, let's get them into the humidor, and uh, I think we've got room for two more after this. So, and then uh, and then it's Christmas time. So um, let's take these guys out here again, uh, just in case you you haven't seen it um, before, uh, new viewer. Um, because maybe one of your friends or family members says, oh, you need to go and check this guy out. He's giving away cigars and, uh, and, uh, he sounds like kind of a, uh, an interesting guy. So, um, uh, and you, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, let's zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to take all these cigars out here for you so we can all look at them together. Um, and, uh, yeah. On doing this, um, I, you guys probably know um, by now that uh, I'm a retired pilot. Not really retired. I'm not that old, but uh, but I left flying because I was never home. I was at Air Canada, and I was never home. I was home 16 hours a month, and I had a little guy at the time. And um, you got to put your family first. Uh, he was missing dad, and I didn't want him uh, thinking that. The career and money was more important than my best friend. So uh, after 20 years of flying, I left uh, that career behind to become a professional photographer. That's something I've always done since I was a little kid and something that I was always interested in. And, um, and I successfully made the transition from being a pilot, uh, a successful commercial airline pilot to a very successful um, Wedding and corporate photographer. It's kind of kind of crazy. It's uh, how it happened, and um, yeah. So um, I travel all over the place for for weddings and corporate events. I don't ever charge mileage for ninety percent of places in Canada, and probably about seventy five percent of the places in the United States. So if you guys are looking for a really good photographer, I would love to come down there and shoot your wedding or corporate event for you. Uh, I don't charge mileage, like I said, in most places I go to. Uh, just put me up in a hotel room. They've named me the uh, the top photographer in Winnipeg and Manitoba since 2016, considering we've got about a thousand photographers here in Winnipeg alone. Um, and one of the top 10 best in Canada since 2017. And as of last year, uh, one of the top 30 most influential wedding photographers in North America. So um, yeah, and we like to have a lot of fun shoot pretty much in any style and um, offer video options with any of my photography packages as well um, and uh, hey I do cigar bars too so I can offer cigar bars to you and uh, probably in Canada I can't really transport these things across across the border without being tagged um, mind you I probably do 50 cigars. I don't know. I've never done a cigar bar in the States before. But anyway, if I do come down there and you guys do refer me, uh, I look after the people who, re who look after me. So I'll definitely sort you guys out. And, um, and if I do get down there and you do uh, have me down there to do a wedding or whatever, uh, then we can hook up in person. Uh, maybe do a YouTube video or five or three or whatever. Uh, and just enjoy each other's company, smoke some really great cigars, and have some good drinks together. So I think that would be a really cool way to do a meet and greet. Um, yeah, I, I'd really like that a lot. But uh, let's go through these cigars here. Um, this is a Camacho Scorpion, and this just is like this has got some good weight to it. Eh? Like this is a nice cigar, and you know it's it's a gigantically crazy big ass cigar. It's seven inches long, a seventy ring gauge. But it's a really gentle giant. It's got kind of a, a medium, mild to medium body um, strength on this one. And just a really nice cigar. But it's, it takes you probably a good two hours. I think the last time I had one, I, might, you know, I was talking a lot too with, uh, with my friends and stuff that were over. But I think this is almost two and a half hours by the time I got through it. Um, and this is its crazy, crazy little brother or the crazy little sister. Uh, in, in my case, my sister's a little crazy. Uh, I love her to death, but uh, growing up with her, she was absolutely nuts. Uh, and this is, this would be uh, Terry. <laughs> uh, this is the Camacho Scorpion. This is a little Robusto, and this one's got a lot of spice to it. I was kind of the big, 
you know, easygoing guy, you know, big brother, super chilled out. And this is my crazy ass little sister right here. So, um, uh, yeah, lots of spunk and personality to that one. Uh, this is the, um, uh, Mark Twain number one, uh, Churchill, very nice cigar. Super, super, super easy to smoke on that one. This one here, this is a Drew Estate, a Legends Black, and it's a Lonsdale. It's got a lot of flavor to it. And uh, I believe this is a flavored cigar too. It's, it's not like punchy in the face kind of flavored, but it's a really nice dark chocolate notes to it and, uh, and a little bit of sweetness to that one. Uh, this one here is the La Perla Wide. Uh, cigar, a nice uh, Gordo 6x60 ring gauge on it, and just an absolutely stunning, stunning footband on it. I think it's kind of a storytelling footband that you'd see in like this Renaissance paintings almost, you know, just absolutely beautiful. And uh, and this guy here, he is kind of hard to find, so uh, he got this one here in your humidor, so that's really cool. And speaking of hard to find, they only make this cigar here for two places in the world. Very hard to find cigar and only available in two different cigar stores uh, anywhere on the planet. So, uh, and this one here's got just over two years of age on it too. So just an absolutely beautiful cigar. Nice big Toro, it's the Gurkha Widowmaker. And this is another nice Toro here. This is the um, Monte Cristo Espada Guard. Look at these, just these beautiful cigar bands to it. Hey, there's four bands to this guy. Just an absolutely stunning, stunning cigar. But uh, Monte Cristo is a very, very good brand. And this is the Partagas Suente uh, um, uh, Toro. A nice Madura wrapper on that one too. Lots of uh, flavors of like uh, dark chocolate, nuts, cream, vanilla, earth, uh, a little bit of spice. Another really nice uh, cigar. And uh, look at this. Like, this is like almost three years old. Just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous cigar. Look how dark and oily that Maduro wrapper is. And this is a, a cigar here from E.P. Carrillo. And this is the, uh, the um, Especial Torpedo Oscaro. Just an absolutely gorgeous cigar. And here is a... And this one here, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful cigar. Super easy to smoke any time of the day. And this is the Brick House uh, Fume Corona. And here's a really, really nice little Rebusa. This is the Chillin' Moose Rebusa, right out of Nicaragua. Um, a, lot of, a lot of complex uh, flavors on this one here as well. And, uh, and some spice too. So it's a, it's a, it's a nice... Um, um, high medium to full bodied uh, cigar. This is the Alar Aurora 115 and the John Bull Dark Hour Robusto. And now we're on the top here. This is a cigar here from Zycar. This is the HC Robusto and a Monte Cristo Platinum Robusto. And this one here, I just love, love, love the band on this one here. This is the Alec Bradley Gatekeeper Robusto, but look at that band. This is just absolutely insanely beautiful. And it smokes as good as it looks. And this one here is the Olivia, uh, it's a Maduro wrapper, and you can see it's a box press, but it's the Maduro uh, Olivia Master Blend 3. And then, like I said, this is a crazy little uh, Camacho Scorpion. And this is the uh, Palina um, Cazadores. Really, really, really nice cigar. We've got another one here from an Ernesto uh, Pal Palina uh, coming up here uh, in the next, next one or two. He'll be either the second to last or the last uh, cigar going in. Um, yeah, just he's he's made so many incredible ninety plus point cigars. The guy's an absolute master genius of cigar making. So super happy to see at least two of his cigars going into this uh, humidor for you. 
And this here is the uh, the um, diesel uh, shorty Gordo. It's four and a half inches by 60 ring gauge on this one. This is a crazy little cigar, but super, super flavorful. And a lot going on in that one. And this is the Alec Bradley Master um, the Magic Toast uh, Robusto. And uh, I think it's a, a box dress, but it's very round as well. So I don't know. It's just good. It's a very, very, very good cigar. Uh, and speaking of another good one here, this is the Alec Bradley. Uh, it's a Toro size, but this is the Alec Bradley um, uh, Black Market Vandal. Uh, really nice Maduro wrapper on this guy here too. So, um, And the last one, well not the last one, but the one that we've just reviewed here. This is the uh, just a beautiful diesel 10th anniversary uh, Torpedo Maduro wrapper a cigar right in Nicaragua and AJ Fernandez. So absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning cigar. So this is... Uh, this humidor is wrapping up and it is looking really, really, really good. Um, I was looking at it the other day and, um, uh, and it, I thought, geez, we're, we're almost filled up and we're getting close to Christmas. So normally I'll do like, you know, like a cigar review, like once a week or once every 10 days kind of thing. But, uh, we're so darn close. I thought, you know what, we're just going to. Uh, blast through these uh, cigar reviews because I really, really, really want to make somebody's Christmas a little more special. Uh, and I want to get this out for Christmas. So that's kind of the plan. So uh, stay tuned for that. There's going to be lots of uh, lots of cigar reviews coming up. Well, two, well, I guess two two more here. But uh, um, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to, to get this out to somebody uh, for Christmas time for them so they can uh, maybe make their holiday a little little more special so I just kind of like how you guys make my days a little more special when uh, when you're viewing and subscribing and liking and commenting on my uh, my videos so uh, I really can't thank you guys enough I really truly appreciate everything um, if you know anybody who likes this kind of stuff uh, you know maybe mention it to them share the video with them I really appreciate that please like and subscribe and, uh, and yeah, and if you know anybody who's getting married, uh, I would love to come down uh, to shoot their wedding for them. I'll definitely uh, look after you as well. And maybe, uh, you know, for the same city, uh, we can get together for a really cool meet and greet and have some cigars and drinks together and uh, just kind of hang out. Uh, and it'll be a cool, cool excuse to, to do a couple more YouTube videos uh, with, uh, with special guest stars like you guys in it. So I think that'd be super cool. But um, anyway, take care. Thanks a lot. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.